In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to connect to a data source via the data manager. This will provide clear analytics, the data it needs to be able to dynamically create queries and to reach out and fetch data from various data sources. So to get started, we're going to select the data manager button here in the clear analytics ribbon. This will bring up a wizard which will guide us through the connection process. Here you can see database is already selected, so we're just going to proceed on to next. And in this section, we're going to hit the new connection button to set up a new connection to our database. For this demonstration, we're going to connect to a SQL Server database. As you can see, we can connect to a variety of other databases here as well. Here I'm going to proceed to punch in my server details and then uh, put in my username and password. I'm then going to select a particular database I'd like to leverage. Let me just do a quick test. Okay, looking good. I'll just proceed from here. So we've now successfully created a connection. So let me just proceed to the next step. In this screen, you can now pick and choose which tables and fields you'd like to include in Clear Analytics. So first we can pick one or more schemas which we would like to bring down. And here you can see a list of tables and views. And I'm now going to proceed to choose the tables and fields which I would like to import uh, into Clear Analytics. So here I've picked customer. I'm now going to pick a handful of items from the product table. And uh, let me just pick one or two more items here, size. OK, and wait. Now I'm going to also import the sales order detail and all of the sales order header table as well. Uh, maybe I'll just deselect one or two items here which are uh, more database specific. In this screen, you can now pick and choose the different names you'd like to assign these fields. So in this particular case, I may remove order from the uh, order quantity field name and in this case I'll just change the table name to header and it's really just a matter of making your fields more business user name friendly. In this screen you now have the opportunity to select a key date. A key date is your primary time metric. It's the date you'd like to use for day of a day comparison of certain numbers or maybe for trending reporting. This is an optional field, uh, but in this particular case, I'm going to use order date as my key date. In this screen, I'm now able to specify the relationships between the tables I've selected. So I'm going to first create a join from the sales order table. I'm going to select the sales order ID as the primary key and uh, select the sales order header table and join it to the same name primary key and I'll make that an inner join. I'm now going to join the sales order detail table with my products table using the product ID and my next join is going to be with the sales order header table and I'll be joining that up with the customer ID to the customer table. Again an inner join. Now with my join set up, I'll proceed over to the next screen. Now in the next screen, I'm able to create a domain tree, which is more of a business user friendly representation of the tables and fields which we have imported from the database. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a group. I'm going to call that sales. And within that group, I'm going to create a folder and I'll give this folder the name detail. Now within this folder, I'm going to pick and choose a bunch of fields within the sales order detail table and just drag and drop them into that folder. Let me just pick one or two more. I'm going to drag in the unit price there. Okay. And I can also just uh, drag and drop the entire header into the group as well. So let me just do that for header. Now I would also like to add some product specific details to my 
cells order detail. So let me just drag a few items across. So I'm going to bring in color, list price, name, and uh, weight. And in terms of my order header, I'd like a little bit more information about my customers. So I'm going to drag and drop the, my customer's first name, last name, and some contact details here. So email address, and uh, let me also bring in their phone number. Now, once I'm happy with the domain tree layout, I can hit next, which will take me to the final summary screen where I just get to review all of the items that are about to import. Hitting next will just bring up a confirmation dialog to import all the items. And once I hit finish, I am now done. All the items have now been imported into Clear Analytics and now able to be leveraged in the Query Builder, which we will talk about in a later video.